Oh, why do you think people bowl? Um, maybe a good stress reliever. Because I like it. I think it's a good social activity. Relaxation mainly, and then uh, met a lot of good people here. Um, it's a recreational sport. Anyone could do it, whether you're two years old, whether you're 30 years old, whether you're 100 years old. I you know anyone could do it. I mean, we have a senior bowler who's 101 years old. You know, she bowls in two leagues. Well, it's very enjoyable. And another thing, you're um, what you're doing is trying to become better for yourself, competitive with yourself as yeah. well as with other people. Yes. And so, and, and then they become your friends, <laughs> your leagues stay. So. It's a very social thing. The first time I came here to Albany Bowl was June 17, 1985. The bowl was very dilapidated. It needed a lot of um, fixing up. It needed, a, needed new roof, needed new painting, needed new carpet. You had to put new lighting in because the lights that you may or may not uh, have seen in this uh, facility all the, all the additional lighting on the concourse and all the additional lighting over the lanes, there were no lighting at all. So that's really funny for folks that have been bowling here for a long time. They can't remember how dark it used to be in this facility. This bowling center had not the best of reputations. We needed to change that image to the communities. We uh, are connected with over 100 schools. We belong to six chambers of commerce and we touch as many special needy children and adults in the community as we can. And that forms some credibility, if not a lot of credibility. Bowling was different back then because there were uh, more families had moms at home cooking dinner. So there was a lot of different leagues that were daytime leagues that were for ladies and nighttime leagues were for men. Weekend bowling was uh, constantly on a waiting list. It's getting more to children. More parties, that yeah. type of thing. They never had that kind of stuff. The biggest change I've seen is the, probably the arcade and the different things that they put up for all. It's making a family, more like a family center so that people can bow and have other options. Oh, oh they made it over. It's all made over. It's all tech, it's technology now. We used to have to do our own scoring. scoring. And, yeah. What's some of the daily routine that you do here every day. First thing, uh, oil the lanes, and then check out all the problems they got, the machines, you know, look the list, see what they have. So there's always something? Yeah, always got something broken. So what's the biggest change you've seen in the bowl from when you first came here to now? Well, the, the change is because, you know, the lanes is not wood no more. <laughs> the plastic. Yeah, there was, uh, when the lanes uh, the wood, they used to be uh, put finish in the lanes and uh, they do more work in those lanes. And now that they're plastic? That is plastic, is nothing you can do about it. We used to have a, the, one of the first one, the first scores that been installed, the automatic scores that been installed on this bowling center. But it was very old, so people know how to take advantage of that by hitting the console and they get free drinks. If you look 20 years ago, we were 70% league. So that tells you what's happening with league play. People are not committing to bowl league. That doesn't mean they're not bowling. They just don't bowl league 33 weeks a year. There's 70 million people that bowl yearly throughout the world. It's the largest participatory sport in the world over everything else. So league play is down, open play is up, corporate parties are up. Right now, the way the economy is and everything, try to get, try to get company parties back with us. The, the company that's been here for, for five years, that you know, rent a whole building, now they're cutting back and only want 20 lanes or 10 lanes. So that's the hardest part, you know, is trying to get the company parties staying here with us. When I first started, it seemed like it was dying, but it is picking up now. Uh, a lot of that, I think, probably is because of the economy. Uh, it's still the only thing where a family can come out to and, and you know, you can afford to do it. It's becoming more family oriented, I think. You know, there's more families coming out. 
a younger, a lot of younger kids coming to bowling. Right? I think bowling is going to get more and more popular with all ages. I because people are getting older, and I think the seniors really enjoy bowling. Yeah. That's their opportunity to do something that doesn't really require a lot of physical, but yet it's fun. To answer your question directly, I think we're absolutely par even with everything, and I don't see I don't see bowling jumping off the page. We we are getting more exposure through different athletes. Uh, LeBron James and Chris Paul and, and uh, you've got so many, you've got NASCAR people, uh, you've got Earnhardt Jr. who now is part of the, bowl, the PBA, so you've got a lot of different uh, athletes that are connecting themselves to bowling because they realize it, it, it's the real deal. Well, what's one of the craziest things you've seen here? We had, we, we had a couple of girls one year, one time, it was about four years ago, five years ago, they were trying to play strip bowling. And, and whoever missed took a, you know, a clothing off. Of course, we had to stop that, you know? <laughs> once it got down, we had to stop that. But yeah. Well, you know, once you have like, you know, we have 3,000 people that walk through our doors a week. So you see it all. 